Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learning Web Method. Today we are going to see how to use exit step in web methods. So exit step allows us to exit from entire flow service, loop, iteration, and parent step. We will we will see all the possibilities with examples. So let's begin. Go to your designer. For our demo, we will be using our previously created service that is test loop. So those who are new to our channel can check other videos from Iverton. So let's insert one exit step. First, we'll understand the properties of exit step. So first property is signal. This shows whether exit is to be considered success or failure. So it has two values, success and failure. And failure name. Failure name is nothing but a name of exception. It could be a system exception or it could be a user defined exception. Only mandatory thing is exception must be available in the current class loader. Or if it is a user defined exception, then it must extend super class exception. Now failure instance is nothing but a pipeline variable that contains an existing exception. Exit from means from where the code will exit. So it has four properties like parent, loop, flow, iteration. So failure message is nothing but a user defined exception message. Let's start with exit with parent. In this case, code exits from parent flow step. So to do so, let insert branch. We'll put condition on total price. So here what we are doing, if the total price is equals to 100, then, then code must exit from the branch step, which is a parent step of exit. Otherwise, it will print this debug log. Let me add few more debug log. Now let's test our scenario. So here we'll observe that the total price is 100. So that means this won't be in logs. So let's check the logs. So here we can see the inside branch is not log. So that means the code is exit from this step. Now we'll check the failure scenario. So here we'll put the failure message as. Now let's run. Here we'll see now the failure scenario has thrown an exception, which is a flow exception with our message. 100 is not a valid number. Now what we'll do, we'll check with a failure name as well. So in a failure name, we can put as. As of we don't have any user defined exception, so we'll try to execute with java.lang.exception. Now we'll see whatever exception we have provided here is logged in a log. Now we'll see other scenarios. Let's disable this step. Insert one exit step. And now we'll see loop. So in this case, the code must exit from this loop. Now let's run and test it. Go to the logs. Now here we'll see before loop, after loop and end of flow service. This loop is not printed. Now we'll see failure scenario as well. In failure scenario, there is no failure name and instance name. For loop here only failure message is available. So we'll put a message now we'll run this. Here we'll see the flow exception is loop fail. Now we'll see exit with flow. In this case, code exit from the complete flow service. So now let's test this. We'll go and check in logs. Here we'll see only before step is printed. The same way we can log message for a failure scenario. We'll run. And here we'll see flow failed. Now let's understand exit with iteration. Now here what we are doing, if the title is text, then it will exit from this particular iteration and continue executing 
below steps. So let's see. Here in logs, we can see loop count is two. So that means it only executed two times. And then after exiting from the loop, it start executing below steps. Now, the important point to remember here is as per the documentation, exiting from iteration and signaling failure is not allowed. When executed, it throws in flow exception. So we'll see that thing also. Now here we'll observe that the flow exception invalid exit from the iteration. So why? Because as per the documentation, this condition is not allowed. So I hope you understand how exit step work in web method. So if you have any comment and query, so do please let me know in a comment section. And if you like the video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.